converting a fraction to a repeating decimal. We're asked to write 13 sixths as a decimal, and we're told, if necessary, use a bar to indicate which digit or group of digits repeats. So chances are something's going to repeat since it's the type of uh, problem type that we're looking at, and they're giving us special instructions about what to do with it. But we're going to at least start the problem in the same way we have the others. If we're asked to write a fraction as a decimal, we want to use long division. That's going to be our setup. So let's get a little bit of room here. We're going to set up long division. The order is, I guess, seemingly backwards because it's 13 divided by 6. The 13 is inside and the 6 is outside and now we can start our long division. So 6 goes into 13 twice, 2 times 6 is 12. That gives us a remainder of 1, but since we're looking at using decimals, we don't want to stop with the remainder, we want to add a decimal, and we can add zeros so that we can keep going. Okay, so 6 goes into 10 now also once. 1 times 6 is 6, when we do that, that gives us a remainder of 4, so we're still getting that remainder. I want to add another 0 just so that we can keep going, bring that one down. This time 6 goes into 40, well, 6 times, so 6 times 6 is 36. And when I do the subtraction, I get 4 again. I'm starting to see a pattern. Uh, it looks like something may be going on here. I've got 40, 36, now I've got 4. If I put in another 0 and bring that down, I'm going to have 40 again, and 6 goes into 40 6 times. 6 times 6 is 36. I subtract and I get 4. You can see the repeating process has started. So we've got our uh, decimal at the top there. If we kept going, we would just continue to get more 6s. So the way that we want to write this, and like I said, it keeps going, is our 2.16. Since everything after that is just more sixes, we use a line over the six to indicate that it is repeating. And I only need to put it over one six because that says that everything after that is going to be more sixes.